Hello everyone, welcome back to our videos on stock trading strategies. So in the last video, we talked about the introduction of the candlestick diagrams or the candlesticks as they're called in stock trading. And we looked at some basic ones. We looked at the doji, a couple variations on the doji. We looked at the marobozu. And one of the biggest points that I tried to get across in that video is that these are, again, heuristics. Candlesticks give us a sort of fuzzy picture about what might be happening to a stock within a day or a week or a month, but they can never give us the full picture about exactly what's happening. So it remains to be seen whether these are going to be good or bad strategies for us to do some real stock trading when we look at some code. But first I wanted to go over what happens when you put several candlestick patterns uh, next to each other. And this is typically how people use them. They don't use a single candlestick pattern for a single day to make a decision. They look at what's happening to these candlestick patterns over consecutive days or weeks or months. And based on if they see a pattern there, then they'll choose to make some kind of decision. So this will be a intermediate video on candlestick patterns. We'll have an advanced video probably a little bit later with uh, more complicated ones. But this will basically just look at first a two-day pattern called the engulfing bearish line. And this is considered a negative pattern. And then we'll look at a slightly more complicated three-day pattern called the morning star. And this is considered a reversal pattern when you're going negative and you're seeing that this might be going positive in the future. So let's dive right into it. The first one here is called the engulfing bearish line. So there's a lot of words there. Um, the first one I'd point out is bearish. So this is just coming from the convention in markets of the bull versus bear market. So bull markets are, in a nutshell, basically when the market is strong, doing well, Prices are going up usually, uh, and the bear market is typically the opposite when prices are going down. So we are still in the middle of a coronavirus market crash, which is considered this bearish market territory, typically. So that's this bearish word. Where does this engulfing comes from? For that, let's start looking at the candlestick pattern, just the two of them that make it up. So in this setup, we're looking at one day and then the consecutive day. We see the first day is given by this candlestick pattern. Notice it's filled in white, which means that the opening price is below the closing price. So the price on average goes up throughout the first day. And then if we look at the second day, we see a much bigger candlestick. And it's also filled in black, which means that this is a negative pattern. And the opening price is actually higher than the closing price, which means on average the price is going down throughout the second day. But there's one more thing to note, which is what makes this engulfing. If we look at this candlestick for the second day, it's engulfing the candlestick for the first day, or it's much bigger than it. The body of this candlestick is pretty much taken up the entire and more space than the first day's candlestick took up. And let's see what that implies by looking at the stock graph. So uh, just a quick note on drawing these, because it can get a little bit confusing to draw these. But what I usually do is I first draw dotted lines for the maximum and minimum, so I know where my graph should stop and start. So we see that if I trace this minimum for the first day, this is how I got that dotted line. If I trace the maximum for the first day, that's how I got that dotted line. Then I'll usually put some markers like an X for the opening and closing prices. And then based on those four things that I've drawn, I can draw an idea of what the stock might be doing. Again, an idea because the candlestick patterns don't give us the full story. But based on this, I drew this picture where it starts here, it hits its minimum goes and hits its maximum and then starts dipping slowly. So based on this overall pattern, we see that the stock price is kind of healthy. It's going up throughout the first day. Now, let's see what happens in the second day and why this is considered a bearish situation. So again, the second day, I didn't draw the dotted lines for the max and min because they're the max of the whole chart and the min of the whole chart. So I just use that as a reference. I drew a little circle for where the opening price would be based on this and the closing price would be around here at this circle. So it hits its maximum, goes down and hits its minimum, and then makes a slight recovery and then ends up over here. We see that the trend here is starting here and it goes down like this. So we see that any of the gains that we made in the first day are more than wiped out by what happens in the day after. And we can see that both in the chart and the initial candlestick pattern because this body is so much bigger than the first candlestick, which means that no matter what happened in the first candlestick, the second one engulfs it or just takes over the overall trend. So we see that's why this is considered a bearish situation where you might be increasing a little bit in day one, but whatever, whatever gains you got were more than wiped out in day two. So this is the engulfing bearish line and sort of gives a idea that this is not a great stock to invest in potentially. 
Uh, now let's look at a slightly more complicated pattern, which gives us even more evidence about whether the trend we're seeing is real or not. So in this one, we have a three-step process, and this one is called the morning star. It's called this because it's kind of an indication that the market was going down. We enter a period where it's not certain whether it's going to go back up, and then the final period gives us confirmation that indeed, maybe it really is going back up. So we see the three periods are the downtrend, where the price is going down, the uncertainty, where we're not too sure what's happening and the change isn't that big compared to the downtrend. And then finally, we get a sizable confirmation that the market is going back up. Now, I just explained the graph, but let me actually start over and explain the candlestick patterns. So the first one is always a very large black or uh, red candlestick. So again, that means that the price is on average going down in this period. Now the next one is actually either going to be black or white, it doesn't really matter, or red or green if you're using that color scheme. So in my case, I've drawn it slightly positive, actually. But the main thing you want to get across is that this middle candlestick is short compared to the ones on the outside. And what that means is no matter whether it's positive or negative, it's not that big of a change compared to the two outer candlesticks. And that's why we call this a period of uncertainty. Because the price is maybe changing a little bit, but we're not exactly sure whether it's going up or down by any significant amount. And what this is in terms of real world terms when people use the morning star pattern is a period of uncertainty where the price was going down clearly in period one. And then after that, maybe it's not going down as badly. Maybe it's going up a little bit. Maybe it's going down only slightly. But we consider this a period where we're not really sure what's going on. So let's try to get confirmation in the third period, which comes from this last candlestick. Now, key point about this last candlestick, it needs to be white, so increasing or green if you're using that color scheme. And its final value, so this is the closing price, right? Its closing price should be well into the body of the first candlestick because that tells us that actually it is probably going back up. So we see that's drawn here. We see it starts over here, it ends over here, and if we draw the trend, we see that it's a pretty strong positive pattern compared to the very small positive pattern we had in the uncertainty period. Now, why is it important that the top of this candlestick, the closing price, uh, extends well into the body of the first candlestick? Because if it didn't, if this candlestick was also very short, then our picture would basically look like ending around here, and this growth would be small again. So again, we wouldn't be really certain about what's going on. So it's important that this candlestick uh, ends in the closing price well into the body of the first large candlestick, so that we know that this is better evidence of a reversal. So overall, the morning star pattern in English basically says that the price is going down. We have a period where we're not super sure what's going on, so let's hold on. And then in the last period, we get a big confirmation that the price is going back up. So in a nutshell, this is a morning star. We're happy that this is happening. Okay, so I just wanted to go over two, um, two examples of candlestick patterns where you look at not just one day, but two or three days. And as you probably guessed, people look at even more days. And I'm not going to bother making videos on like six or seven day candlestick patterns because I think you're starting to get the idea here. So in the advanced candlestick pattern video we finally make, we'll look at a very specific uh, one or two examples of large scale candlestick patterns. So any comments at all, please put them in the section below. Like and subscribe for more videos just like this. And next time we'll look at some code.